What is up guys, I'm Spazzy P and welcome back to Call of the Wild. Now before I start this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much on the last video for the support. Like, I'm not kidding you, it was truly unbelievable. I uploaded the video and like th three hours later, you know, it had like 500 views on it. I was like, okay, that's not too bad. And then like a day later, I look at the video and it's got like 5,000 views. And now it's up to like almost 15K for a small channel like mine where I think I started, I uploaded that video with 195 subscribers. We are at 315. And I'm like, how? Uh, 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 uh. That was my exact reaction. I, I just want to, I just want to start the video saying like, thank you guys so much for the support. And I hope you enjoy this video because it's exactly what some people said down in the comments, what they were looking for. And that is, ugh, voice crack. Wow. Okay. And that is a lodge tour. I wanted to do a lodge tour for you guys so that you can see what I got and uh, see if I need to add anything or what I can improve on. And so are you guys ready for the best lodge tour of your life? Like I guys, I have been playing this game for maybe six years now and I have collected myself some pretty great animals. So I want you guys to witness the greatest lodge tour in human history. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. So guys, here is my lodge. As you walk in to the foyer here, you see we have four. Yes, that's right. Four great one black bears. I harvested this one on J Wait, hold on. I gotta wait. Which one was this? Which one's the chestnut? I can't remember. Is it? That's the chestnut. I harvested the chestnut on January 3rd, about a month ago. I harvested the second one a day later. Uh, we got this one. I harvested it on January 8th and then January 9th. So pretty close together. I was actually very lucky to get these four bears right off the bat. I got a great one moose right here. Look at that. He's just so beautiful. The fabled birch. Unreal. I got a Basit Ibex back here and then a uh, diamond black bear. Got some fallow because I did a lot of fallow grinding. You know, totally. That's th These are totally... That, it's, that's all mine, guys. This is all mine, guys. Like 100%. Almost forgot about these guys. We got this diamond moose up here a foul i mean a red deer a white tail a bang tang another white tail and an iberian wolf uh here's my second great one moose just look how gorgeous this man is just oh so cool we got ourselves a fox right here like can you guys believe this look at this fox it's it's just pure i, I don't have fur quality very well so he kind of looks like a like a furry caterpillar but that's totally that's fine that is what i was looking for we got myself a jackal that i definitely didn't botch look at this kudu uh white tail hey that look at this great one white tail surrounded by two diamond white tail like that is just, that is just so cool guys i'm just so good at this game we got ourselves a super rare piebald Max, actually, I don't know if that's Max, but honestly, that looks like a great one on its own. Like, the, the antlers on this thing is unbelievable. Um, we got ourselves a lion. Uh, we got ourselves some more fallow deer and another, or I'm sorry, that's a feral goat. Look at the size of this beautiful moose right here. Look at those tines on the, on the very end. Those are so, th those are like six feet across. We got ourselves a reindeer, a moose, which just has a a very nice rack there even though it's gold albino brown bear uh silver albino elk and here is my great one uh fallow deer i was very disappointed to get this one because it kind of looks like mickey mouse but that's okay uh we got ourselves a rocky mountain elk and this is beautiful this was out even doing the uh the medved mission i got myself an albino diamond brown bear like just look at the size of this beast right here and then we got ourselves a kangaroo some more fallow deer uh, a, a capper collie a, a, a lion! Then we travel ourselves over to this side. You walk through this door. Look at these beautiful fallow right here. More diamonds that almost look like great ones, just based off of how gorgeous they look. Got ourselves an albino fallow. I'm surprised I don't have more albino fallow from the amount of fallow I've killed for the great one. Uh, but uh, they're, they're just, it's just, you know, we're, we're gonna live with it. It's completely fine. And then over in the corner, last but very not least, we have ourselves a piebald axis deer. Look how adorable this little axis deer is. And yeah, guys, that is my lodge. This is my lodge. This is 100%. <coughs> this is 100% my lodge. It's not like I went onto my friend's lodge and showed you guys uh, my friend's lodge instead of showing you my actual lodge. That's definitely not what I'm doing right now. You guys believe me, right? Right? Uh, okay, guys. I, uh, I apologize. I have to come clean. This is not my lodge. Uh, I unfortunately do not have this 
selection of animals in my lodge. So we'll go to that right now and I'll actually show you my lodge. Okay guys, here is my lodge. And I'll actually go into in-depth. We'll drop we'll drop the act and I'll show you guys my actual lodge so you guys can uh, get a glimpse into the amount of hunting I've actually done. I have not spent six years on this game. I've spent probably less than a year. In less than a year, this is what I have obtained. So we got ourselves right here at the entrance. We got two saltwater crocodiles, light brown uh, scoot variation, scoot variation. This one's a gold and this one's only a silver. But fun fact about them, if you look at the time, I harvested this one at 1854. And I harvested this one at 1850. Literally, back to back, four minutes apart, I harvested two light brown crocs, which, in my opinion, is actually pretty rare. I think light brown might be a little more common than like albino, piebald, and all those, but it's still pretty cool. All right, so this room's pretty empty. I actually moved a lot of stuff out of this room. Right here, this. Uh, uh actually, uh, let, let me let me rewind. I'm not going to show you guys that just yet. Okay. Okay, we're going to we're going to avoid whatever that is. The, we're, that's my prized possession. Okay, we got ourselves a diamond gems box up here. Uh, did not take me that long to get that. We got ourselves a diamond alligator. This was just given to me by my friend, which is the lodge that you just saw. He just was like, hey, you want to come shoot this diamond alligator? I'm like, sure. All right. So I did. This was a diamond fallow that I actually found during the Tiawara moose hunt, the video I uploaded previously that you guys love. It was funny. I just saw it running and I was like, okay, I guess I'll, I'll take what I can get. We got ourselves two nice gold white tailed deer right here. Got ourselves a diamond mallard that I just, I just saw him sitting on the shores of Leighton. And I was just like, okay, I guess I'll take the shot. I didn't even have a weapon capable of killing a one to two class animal. And so I had to buy a 22 just to shoot this mallard, which I know you don't shoot ducks with a 22, but I didn't have high enough score with my shotguns <laughs> to kill this duck with birdshot. So I had to shoot it with a 22. And luckily it still kept diamond rating because some animals or some birds, you aren't able to actually shoot uh, while they're grounded. So luckily I could just shoot it with a rifle while he was on the ground. Here is that mocha moose that you guys remember. Still very beautiful. And then we got four pretty nice moose here. Now, surprisingly, this one, both of these aren't diamond. They have pretty nice racks, I have to say. Especially this one. I don't know how this isn't diamond. Like that's, that's a pretty large rack, especially these front spoons. Like I don't understand why this didn't score higher. Um, these are my two actual diamonds, pretty large. You can see that, okay, this one probably is a gold. And then this one's a normal diamond. Um, this was my first diamond. When you have to compare these two diamonds, you'd probably say, okay, the one on the uh, the one on the left has to score at least like 10 points higher, right? And that's not true. I mean, this one only scores 1.8 higher than my first diamond. And I think the main reason being, uh, or the main reason that this happened, is if you look at the two tines on this one, they, it, they extend so far out. They're so long. Each one is like a foot long. And this one doesn't really have long tines. It just has those big spoons. I've talked about these two moose too much. Let's go into this room. This epic room right here. Okay, we got ourselves a piebald gold croc. That's pretty cool in my opinion. We got two piebald cow moose with the same fur variation. You can see they both look identical. Um, I just, this is my most recent diamond. I actually posted a picture of him on my YouTube account where I kind of had an angle like really close up in his face. This, he's actually pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of this one. I went on to, is it Park you? Park you, Park you, Fernando. I went onto that map just like, hey, maybe I'll find a buffalo as I'm exploring the map. Explored the map for like half an hour. And I just saw him and I'm like, well, that ends my hunt pretty quickly. Um, we got ourselves a Roosevelt elk. This is my first ever diamond. I just happened to see him in Layton and I was extremely nervous pulling the trigger, but I luckily landed a uh, vital shot. Here we got a full-on set of a cape buffalo and three lions this is i guess i can show you so we got a diamond buffalo and then we got an actual diamond lion and just some two silver females but they're pretty cool i was hoping to find like maybe an albino or blonde females to go along with this set but i'll keep hunting for those and then we got a rocky mountain elk right here which my friend uh also let me shoot this and personally i just think the rocky mountain elk is a lot cooler has a much it's just technically bigger and it's got a much bigger antler uh a much bigger rack than the roosevelt elk but this one still holds a special place in my heart being my first diamond we got a bang tang over here which while i was croc hunting he just happened to be running straight at me for no reason and i just took the shot and there he is i have a very sad story to tell you guys about this jackal this jackal scores diamond it's i think it has to be 30 or above 
and this jackal scores diamond. I have the video of me hunting this jackal and I'm very hesitant to post it because of just how sad it is. But if you guys want to see the video of me absolutely botching the crap out of this jackal, let me know down in the comments and see if you guys want me to expose myself like that. Uh, my second botch. This is supposed to be a diamond springbok. This would have technically been my first diamond, but me being an inexperienced hunter, I took a wild shot and I hit him in the leg and he bled out somewhere in the map. Rookie mistake. We learn from our mistakes. Oh, I guess we don't. If you take a look at... If you, if you take a look at this jackal... Sorry, guys. I shouldn't cry on camera. That's not very manly. This is my favorite animal right here. Look at this little guy. As you can see, this is my favorite diamond right here. Oh, let's give him a little pet. Give him a little pet. Oh, this is this is by far the best part of the game right there. Like that that if that wasn't in the game, I probably would enjoy this game ten times less. And we're just gonna leave him right there. Uh, he's gonna guard the uh, trophy mount over there. But even if something happened in that trophy mount, um, oh, real quick, look at this silly looking moose. Like what? Th that rack is so silly. It was so silly. I just had to put it up. This was a level three, by the way. And it had a rack like this. Kind of like a fork over here and then like a shovel on this side. It's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, this, like I was saying before, if anything happened to this rack right here, this mount, we actually have a second one of these right over here. This is my second not so cool one. Uh, I put my lower ranking buffalo and my lower ranking lion on here, but they are both diamond. Uh, and I do have one more trophy. I haven't placed it. We got ourselves a female European bison with the piebald fur variation. I just happened to find this on Hirschfelden when I was opening up the map. Uh, probably will be the only th animal I will ever have a mount from that map. And thus, that concludes the ultimate trophy lodge tour. Like I said, guys, I am an absolute pro at this game. Oh, wait, I almost forgot my prized animal. I literally just ran past it too. You might've seen it maybe in the background when I wasn't paying attention, but uh, this, this right here. Now, I haven't shown you the anything about this animal yet, but taking a look at this saltwater crocodile, you'll notice a few things. One, it's a much lighter shade. This is an albino, but this is a piebald. Um, as I, I, if you can remember the one that's in here, the one right here, this is also, I think it has the exact same scoop variation. Um, I like the tail on these though. It's like kind of like zebra patterned kind of checkered like that. But the cool story about this croc, yet again, this wasn't shot on my map, but my friend didn't have to grind much for this animal. So he was like, hey, I'm gonna go find you a diamond croc and you can come and shoot it. And he's like, oh, I found a diamond croc. And I'm like, okay, so I we go into the marsh. We're looking for this croc. He finally sees it again. And he's like, is that a piebald? He's like, I haven't hunted crocs enough to know. And I take a look and I'm like, yep, that's a piebald. I've I was been tracking down some form of rare croc for quite some time, and I couldn't find one. He's like, okay, so this is your chance at like a super rare. And I looked at it, and you know, it's a piebald, and I've shot it, you know, because it was a nine legendary. He goes up, he's like, I want to see the rating before you do. And he clicks on the croc and he just goes silent. And I'm like, what are you are you good? And I look at the croc. That is a max rank saltwater croc. That is insane. Like that is one of the craziest super rares you'll probably ever see in a while. Mainly the reason being that saltwater crocs have the highest trophy rating. I don't know if this is how this works technically, but since it has the highest trophy rating, I assume that the variability on the trophy rating uh, is more since it has such a high one. So like it could, you know, I think to be diamond it has to be 10, 15. And so, you know, that's 85 uh, points that can it, it can vary and depend on. So I, I, like I said, I don't know if that's how that works. If the trophy rating means anything like that, but holy crap, a max rank, max weight, diamond piebald croc. I, it could be a long time before I top something like this. I mean, a great one, you know, That'd be pretty awesome. I still don't like technically know how to hurt manage and stuff like that, but a great one is probably the only thing that would ever top something like this. Like this, this is the icing on the cake, plus the ice cream, plus the candles, uh, the 
the table the i'm i don't this is a terrible analogy uh no this thing is incredible and i don't think i'll top it for a while anyway so that is my lodge still a lot of work to do still a lot of things i can put in here but for now this is my lodge i'm very happy with it and let me guys uh let 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 uh I can't word. Where's the words? Let me know what maybe animals I could add to my lodge. What animals you'd like to see me go for? If it want, if you want it to be a great one, then sure, I'll, I'll try my best. Uh, we'll start that great one grind. Um, but what I'm actually planning on doing is I want to do some more series like I did before, like a documentary type of hunting down kind of these boss animals in uh, the Call of the Wild fandom, as they're called. I hunted down the Tiawar moose. But there's actually multiple animals on several reserves that you can hunt that are kind of considered boss animals because they're at the end of the story missions and you can just go and find them and take them down and they're usually pretty rare. The next one I want to go for is a it is the albino diamond brown bear which you kind of saw a preview of it in my friend's lodge, but that one he actually just found on his own, which is pretty crazy. But that's the next one I want to go for. A super rare through the story missions would be pretty cool. And to make a video on that, because you guys liked the last one so much, I think you guys would want to see part two of me hunting down the elusive albino diamond brown bear. So that is what is in store. I will have some other miscellaneous videos cooking, but for now, that is the end of the video, so thank you guys so much for tuning in to my lodge tour. And if you guys have any, like, concerns about my lodge, like, hey, your lodge sucks, um, then let me know down in the comments, and I will be sure to fix it immediately. Um, no, I probably won't. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing in this game. Uh, if you want me to pet the dog one more time, uh, every, guys, guys, I'm gonna be that guy. Every like on this video is one pet for the dog. Can we get six million like? No. But if we could get like 250 likes on this video like the last one, that'd be pretty cool. So, thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later. Later.